Praise the Lord. What a beautiful and glorious day to recognize wisdom in our pathway today. Uh, Confucius, a Chinese teacher, says something about wisdom. He says, by three methods, we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is the noblest, according to him. Second, by imitation, which is the easiest way. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest way. But Pastor Jeff will tell you that if you spend time reading the book of Proverbs, you will get the soundest wisdom possible. That's why Proverbs 19 and verse 8 says, He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. My brother, my sister, there are many, many benefits of wisdom. And along with wisdom comes understanding, knowledge, and discernment. Now in Proverbs 3 and verse 13 onward, the Bible says, Blessed are those who find wisdom. Blessed are those who gain understanding. For she is more profitable than silver and eel and her eels are, uh, or rather let me say, and eels better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand and in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. My brother, my sister, some people find it extremely easy to make a lot of money. They manage to do this because they have ideas and without fear they develop these ideas. How do you think they get these ideas? Well, what happens is uh, they get these ideas because the spirit of wisdom gives them these ideas. Now, what happens is there is one common factor among all the wise and among the rich people. What it is is that they love to read books of knowledge, of management, of self-development and about other people's achievements. They read a minimum of two books per week. What they are doing is that they are increasing knowledge. So my brother, my sister, develop a reading habit for yourself and your children. And most importantly, read your Bible. So have a great day. God bless you. And let this day be a day of victory for you. Amen, amen, and amen.